Ever since I can remember, we were the picture-perfect family. Laughing, playing, having get-togethers, and sitting down to dinner every evening. My brother Bill and I, having only three years between us, would fight all the time, as normal siblings do. As we grew older, though, we started to realize we were becoming the best of friends. I followed Bill to Camden Catholic High School, where we spent all of our time going to shows, football games, and parties together. We tried getting out of the house as much as we could because there were things going on at home that we did not yet understand. When things were at their worst, my freshman year, Bill would drop everything to get us out of the house. We would take hour-long drives listening to music and belting our hearts out. This is our way of blocking out any bad thoughts we had. These car rides, honestly, saved our lives. Mom and Dad eventually could not take the pain anymore, and they made the decision to get a divorce. As upset and angry as we were, Bill and I knew it was coming. Unfortunately for me, that time came around the same time Bill was leaving for college. Moving three hours away, his new way of dealing with the situation was to avoid all contact whatsoever, even with me. My life started to come back when I transferred back to Washington Township High School. This is when the initial shock of the divorce wore off and I accepted my life for what it was. Since then, I make the most of every day, never anticipating that something bad is just around the corner. Bill comes home now almost every weekend. He knows that even if he doesn't confront the situation, being home helps us both that much better. Almost done school, Bill will be forced into the real world, and sadly, part of our real world is not having mom and dad together. Knowing this, I am looking out for Bill, the way I know he would have done for me if he stuck around. Grasping life can be a bit of a challenge, but doing it together always makes it that much easier.